same game and has to start at left tackle and, and nobody notices. Um, you look at what Hazley does, um, you know, uh, even a kid like Josh Pickett, who, you know, isn't necessarily in the rotation and then Miles Jones goes down and he has to step in and all of a sudden he's got to play at a high level. Um, you know, guys have gone down um, since we've been here and, and you just, I don't know, you have two thoughts in this game. Like you can complain about the injuries, you can cry about the injuries, you can make a big deal about the injuries, or you can just understand that there's a game Saturday that you have to play and someone's got to go on the field and play it. And, and I think our kids uh, have bought into that mentality. And so, um, yeah, take anybody on our two deep. And I think right now they're doing the things that they need to do. Um, it's a shame that we're not able to play more of them. You know, it's it's a competitive room. Take a kid like Jalen Coleman. Um, he's not a young kid, but I mean, he can come out and watch him practice. He's practicing extremely hard every day. Uh, and we continue to try to talk about how can we get him some carries. And then you know, Jordan Waters averages 9.8 yards a carry. And so how do you take him off the field? And so it's, it's, um, you know, it's what you get when you get a competitive program. Um, and it's why character and, and culture are so important because it – allows those next guys to just beat off of each other and keep going and knowing that at some point the number's going to get called. It seems like that's developed more hunger in the past. You saw some guys come in, not not under you, that maybe weren't quite ready for the moment. But these guys seem to relish that. They, you know, they seem hungry. They want to play. Yeah, I mean, I, I think if you, if you had to spend eight months with Feely and then <laughs> get to the season, like, you would want to play too. Yeah. Um, but, no, I, there's a – there's a confidence in the way we go about our preparation. There's a, there's a confidence in our locker room right now. I think the guys the guys feel that they're playing football at a really good level, and and that's not just the guys that are out on the field. That's even some of the guys who aren't getting their opportunities. And so, I don't think there's anybody in our locker room that doesn't want their name called or to be put in that spot where they can go out and shine. And I think you see it even with like guys on special teams stepping up and making plays. You know, a kid yeah. like Cam Bergeron. Um, you know, at some point his number is going to get called and he's going to go out there on the defense and he's going to play at a really high level. And right now his role is being a dynamic player on special teams and he does that every single week. And so, um, yeah, I think you've got a lot of that in our program right now.